गुरोर्ब्रह्मा गुरोर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षा परम ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम तस्म श्री गुरव नम वेन वी हियर गुड थिंग्स सच एज अभय सत्व संशुद्धि ज्ञान योग व्यवस्थि दानम दमश्च यज्ञश्च स्वाध्याय स्तपाजव वेन ऑल दीज पॉजिटिव क्वालिटीज इन द ह्यूमन माइंड वेन वी हियर वी स्टार्ट थिंकिंग हे दे आर टॉकिंग अबाउट मी and when we start listening to dambho darpo bhimanascha krodha parushya mevacha atnyanam cha vijadasya all the negative qualities such as hypocrisy arrogance ego anger bitterness ignorance this is the best definition of my mother in law you know the human mind is so sweet we have no doubt about our being good and equally so we have no doubt about others being bad you know i was telling you there is one lecture i delivered you do listen to that it's in english i think it should be available by tomorrow or day after goodness an obsession an obstacle and a load many a times we carry the load of goodness and what is the load of goodness we compare our goodness with the weaknesses of others and thereby start evaluating ourselves to be superior and others to be condemned this is not goodness therefore when we have heard these two things the divine attributes and the non divine attributes bhagwan is telling arjun in the fifth verse दैवी संपद विमोक्षाय निबंधाय सुरी मता न वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ गुड क्वालिटीज ऑफ अवर माइंड एंड द बैड क्वालिटीज ऑफ अवर माइंड वॉट डज इट मीन इट मीन्स वेरी सिंपल अ गुड पर्सन इज ही हू इज नेवर मिजरेबल ही इज एवर हैप्पी स्वामी जी आई थिंक यू नो नथिंग what your subject what your topic ultimately you come down to this be happy you are good if you are miserable you are bad but whatever i am talking to you is on the foundation of bhagavad gita bhagwan very clearly told that gata suna gata shunscha nanu shochanti pandita wise people good people they don't cry they don't suffer so daivi sampad vimokshaya moksha this is the basic difference between the approach given by the path of inquiry and the path of other methods what is the path of inquiry is what we are doing and what is the other methods karma marga the path of action then the path of devotion and the path of yoga in these three paths there is a struggle for the liberation of i and in the path of inquiry we are seeking liberation from i 
and therefore if we are really walking this path of inquiry which includes everything excludes nothing therefore what is the bondage bondage is anything that will maintain our eye is a bondage see take three examples for the three paths path of karma what is the bondage in this path of karma path of karma is possible only in the field of relativity how karma takes place what is the genesis of action first of all i imagine that i am incomplete therefore i desire to attain completeness and the desire prompts me into activity so ignorance followed by desire followed by action therefore karma or action is in the field of ignorance and ignorant people are miserable so the relativity is maintained i don't know what uh, sins i have done in my last life that i had to get married to you the same one which i did <laughs> therefore we got mutually married to each other to cancel isn't it so the karma marga is maintaining this i then the next one is the yoga marga in the yoga marga there is so much emphasis on i and this uh self disciplining goes to such an extent that i become intolerant and when this i starts slowly slowly purifying the mind then all the divine qualities siddhis they start manifesting and when the different siddhis start manifesting immediately i is superior than you therefore there is a word called as yoga bhrasht there is no word called as jnana bhrasht and in yoga bhrasht also what is the principle the same thing shuchi naam shri matam gehe yoga bhrashto bhi jayate athava yogi naam eva kule bhavati dhi matam so he was earlier as a jiva suffered enjoyed did yoga abhyas could not complete his degree so he got etiquette and in that etiquette he got the next birth then again he is clearing those subjects which are still remaining the i is still maintain i is not dissolved and when it comes to the path of devotion there is a constant complaint oh god why did you send adhik mass this time i was feeling like eating a lot but today somebody came to meet me i said hey how are you i said sir you don't know adhik mass i said hey wonderful you must be eating a lot no in adhik mass we are supposed to observe fast so if you are a gujarati be happy because you know gujarati fast is a very sweet fast go on eating constant demand constant complain and wanting this thing to happen that thing to happen very rarely you will find a devotee who will say to the lord oh lord take away everything and i want nothing other than you so we use the lord for getting the fulfillment of our worldly things oh lord let my daughter in law learn something about our family he just doesn't want to learn it and the daughter in law also goes to the same god <laughs> this god is common and he hears both the sides and that is why he is playing the flute <laughs> who is listening to whom that is the meaning of that flute you know there also the i is still maintained 
But when you are coming on this inquiry as to who is this I who is suffering. So to discover our correct identity is the purpose of karma. To discover the correct identity is the purpose of yoga. To discover the correct identity is the purpose of devotion. And once these three paths are understood, this is the purpose for that. Then only inquiry can set in. And once the inquiry sets in, you are ever ready to get out of the relativity and get established in the absolute. Therefore, daivi sampad vimokshaya. So the meaning of liberation is freedom from I. And nibandhaya suri mata and asuri sampatti. Asuri sampatti is those qualities which make you extremely successful in the relative existence. What is required to be successful in the relative existence? Dambha, Darpa, Abhimana, Krodha, Parusha. Unless you are um, able to be ruthlessly materialist, you don't care for anything. Unless you show off, take a lot and lot of loans and then declare the bankruptcy and that much amount is enough for the next seven years. Afterwards again float a company and fool the people. To do this, you require a lot of guts. So, Nibandhaya Suri Mata. When this was said, Arjun as if looked at Bhagwan. What about me? Where do I fit in? Bhagwan says, Ma Shuchaha. Arjun, don't worry. Why? Sampadam Daivim Abhiyato Si Pandava. You are born with all good positive attributes which will help you to grow spiritually. There are three kinds of purities associated with our existence. First kind of purity is called as Adhi uh, Adhyatmic Purity. Second is Adhi Daivik Purity. And third is Adhi Bhautik Purity. Adhi Bhautik Purity is we are born out of pure parents. Pure parents means no crossbreeding. Purity of the mother line and a purity of the father line. That is called as the Adhi Bhautik Purity. Second, Adhi Daivik Purity. Adhi Daivik Purity is one is born with the grace of the Lord so that one is naturally inclined to satsang or study of scriptures etc. Such a person likes the holy company naturally. And third is Adhyatmic Purity. Adhyatmic purity is one is concerned about what is happening to our mind when we are functioning in this world. So Bhagavan says, Arjun, you belong to this divine disposition. Therefore, you don't feel bad. Ma Shuchaha. Because this was the problem with Arjun. He was this Ma Shuchaha, Bhagavan has said two, three times in Bhagavad Gita, toward the end also. Sarva dharman parityajya mamekam sharanam raja aham tva sarva pape bhyo mokshe shami machcha. See? Now at least you will listen to me. Don't be miserable. By telling this you are making us miserable again and again. So machcha ha sampadam daivim abhijato si pandava. Hey Arjun, you don't worry. You belong to the best category. Thereafter Bhagavan says, Dohutu sargo lokes min daiva asura evacha, daivo vistrashaha proktaha asuram partha meshrono. This world is consisting of two categories. One is the people with divine disposition, and the second is people with these negative dispositions. So, the positive 
क्रिएटिव स्पिरिचुअल डिस्पोजिशन वॉज डिस्कस एक्सॉस्टिवली देर फॉर वेन आई वॉज टेकिंग फर्स्ट टू थ्री वर्सेस फॉर थ्री डेज दैट इज वॉज भगवान से दैव हा विस्तरशा प्रोक्त आई हैव टोल्ड यू इन ग्रेट डिटेल दैव द डिवाइन एट्रीब्यूट्स दैट ए पर्सन होल्ड्स नाउ आसुरम पार्थ में श्रुणु नाउ आई शैल टेल यू एक्सॉस्टिवली द निगेटिव एरोगंट डिस्पोजिशन बिकॉज ऑफ विच वी कंटिन्यू टू रिमेन इन द रिलेटिव एक्सिस्टन्स what is the meaning of living in the relative existence all the time thinking talking and living about this world we have to have one day or the other this understanding enough of this world there is no problem in the relative world which has an absolute solution the world has always been like this it has never changed it was never bad it was never good like you know many people have this uh, frustrated goodness he is called as inquiry about the world what is the frustrated goodness who asked me recently in la probably one person came after my talk with all seriousness swami ji um uh, you know what these americans are doing destroying the whole world i hate that what should i do i said you have already done what i have done i have you have done a damage to yourself can you do anything do you have the authority do you have the power do you have the guts no 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 then keep quiet only imagining they are like ho oh, ho oh, don't boil your blood for no reason so such people are all the time thinking talking about the world under the imagination of goodness no so here bhagwan says asuram asuram is what भगवान शंकराचार्य इन ईशा वास्तुपनिषद डिफाइन दिस वर्ड असुर असुर डजन मीन द वन हू डजंट हैव द प्रॉपर वॉइस सूर एंड ताल तो असुर दो सिंग ऑफ द बीट नॉट लाइक दैट असुर मीन्स असुसुर मते इति असुर हा द वन हूज लाइफ इज ओनली इंटेलिजेंस ओरिएंटेड इन दे आर लाइफ अदर दैन the indulgence nothing else is ever thought of right from morning we begin do you have some new biscuits for the tea in the morning at 4 o'clock then what is there for the breakfast then what is there for the lunch so while taking tea you remember breakfast while taking breakfast you remember lunch while taking lunch you remember a high tea and while taking the high tea you remember what is for the dinner and when going to dinner kal ke liye dosha banana aaj zara bhigo ke rakhna so single pointedly dedicated only to eat 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 this is one example i am giving of indulgence a decent example there are many more you know better than me so asura their whole life is only kama pradhan enjoyment and indulgence now who are such people first pravrittim cha nivrittim cha janan vidura suraha na shaucham na pichacharo na satyam teshu vidyate now first of all pravritti and nivritti pravritti means involvement nivritti means withdrawal so such people who are asura asura means indulgent bhogi they do not have the wisdom where to get involved and where not to get involved 
because they are functioning under the tremendous influence of the virus called as desire. Kama esha krodha esha ha, rajoguna samud bhavaha. Arjuna asks question in the third chapter. When he says, please tell me, we all know what is right and what is wrong. And yet we do the wrong things. What is that which compels us to go the wrong way? So there the Lord says, it is the desire. Alas, it is the anger. So such people, they have no wisdom, no discrimination. Where to get involved and where not to get involved. I will give you one simple thumb rule. Anything that creates disturbances in your mind is worthy of being indifferent to. This is the thumb rule. Do not get disturbed at any cost in this world. Suppose you are getting disturbed because of your husband. Why suppose Swamiji? <laughs> because I don't think any one of you do have that problem. So, suppose you get disturbed because of your husband. What is to be done? Be indifferent. Be indifferent means what? Adopt selective hearing. Whatever he has to say, let him say. Whatever you have to do, you do. In short, stop reacting. When we stop reacting, we are functioning under the umbrella of wisdom. When we react by default, we are leading our life mechanical. Therefore, pravrittim cha nivrittim cha, the first principle, anything that creates disturbances in your mind is not worthy of paying attention. And now we have understood. <laughs> and this is equally to the other way around also. Pravrittim cha. Then nivrittim cha. It is necessary that we have to have a perfect balance between these two aspects of life. One aspect of life is getting involved and second aspect of life is the ability to withdraw. See, a simple thing, we have the driving license. Now what driving license means? Does it mean that you can only drive and you don't stop on the red signal and the police comes and catches you? Don't you have driving license? I have. Why didn't you stop there? Because I don't have a stopping license. No. Driving license includes the stopping of the car when required. In the same manner. Life is a perfect balance between getting involved and getting withdrawn. See? This is the technical term used in our scriptures as vanaprastha. Vanaprastha is what? When you are grahastha, you should be pravritti pradhan, get oriented, involved in the life. Then when you enter the vanaprastha, you start withdrawing from the life before your children have to tell you, Papa, will you shut up? Very important. When this does not happen, then we elderly people start complaining, Swamiji, I think TV has destroyed our uh, country. One person told me to talk on this topic. Swamiji, please bring this topic in your talk, talk that you know TV is destroying. I said, okay. And uh, while talking, this topic came. I said, I agree very much. Somebody suggested me to talk on this topic. That TV has destroyed our uh, culture, I very much agree. But the question is, who are destroyed? Youngsters or the elders? And my observation is, elders are destroyed more by the TV than the youngsters. Constantly sticking glued to Saskavi Kabi Bahuti or Patani or Kya Kya. How long you continue the same wretched thing? 
See? We have to have that wisdom. Withdraw from the world. The same thing in the fifth chapter Bhagavan has taken care of. Where Arjun asked this question. Sir, you are glorifying the withdrawal from the world through knowledge in the fourth chapter. But when it came to me, you told me that you engage yourself in activity. So why don't you tell me one thing? What is best? Getting involved is best or withdrawal is best? Bhagavan says, look here. Don't be an extremist. Not to eat food at all during your uh, Adhik Mass is easier. It's not difficult. Eat all the year round three meals. Every meal with a measured quantity. Even if it is tasty. That requires real guts. The real spiritual practice is not being extremist. So there the teacher says. What is required is. Both the things are required. Karmana, Sanyasa and Yoga. Both are required. And with this proper balance. Of pravritti involvement. And withdrawal. Alone we can progress in the right direction. Therefore these Asuras. This ignorant. Indulgent people. They don't know. How far to go and when to stop. And thereafter they regret throughout life. When I was coming from London. Last 2-3 hours. 2 or 3 hours were remaining. 5-6 hours were over. So just to relax and stretch my hands and legs. I went to that. Uh, where they have all the drinks, tea, coffee. So I went. I took a cup of tea. And uh, there was one man from Bihar. He came and he asked that steward there, Do you have any corner in this aeroplane which is a smoking zone? Last five hours I could not smoke. Will you please allow me? I just take only two bobs. That's it. He said, No way. It's strictly prohibited. You cannot. If you, you'll be thrown out. You cannot. Then he looked at me. So he started smoking me. <laughs> so he asked me, uh, Do you smoke? I said, Yes, I smoke. What? I said, Whatever you release. <laughs> that I can't stop smoking. You are active and passive smoker. He said, I don't know. I am just feeling very uneasy. I have to smoke. I said, take out your cigarette and break it and imagine that you are not a Bihari. How do you know that I am a Bihari? I said, from your hairstyle. <laughs> he said, yes, I am from Bihar. You are perfectly right. That is very good. I said, now you imagine you are uh, in Bengal. He said, then what will happen? Bengalis eat everything. Bhat khaben, rice they eat, water they eat, jol khaben, cigarette also they eat. So you start eating. How does it matter whether the tobacco goes in you as a smoke or as a straight nicotine? That's what you want. No, 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 I can't do that. What I should do? I said, you have done everything. Now what is the problem, you know? You are not smoking cigarette. Then cigarette is smoking you. See? Can't we have this simple understanding? Am I getting involved too much with anything or anybody to such an extent that I am becoming a slave? The moment you become aware of this fact, that none in this world can enslave me. Then alone you are leading your life scientifically. Therefore more prosperity gives us more slavery. And more slave, slave you are, more miserable you are. You will see the prosperous people are more 
miserable prosperously than the average people they have no patience constant demands so such asuras pravrittim cha nivrittim cha na jana viduhu asuraha such indangal people they don't have that common balance then na shaucham nor they have any value for these two things shaucha is external purity as well as internal purity both the things external purity most of us follow how we follow the external purity in the western world i will demonstrate they will look at their glasses ha now it is clean so they will spit on the glasses and with that saliva they clean ours much suppose they are sitting something is external purity self sufficient nothing outer liquid is required shaucham similarly inner purity inner purity is extreme selfishness see na shaucham such people are concerned about only their own indulgent lifestyle doesn't matter how the things come where from the things come na shaucham now see those people who are following certain rules and regulations in their life you will see their life is more dignified and their life is a disciplined existence for example there are many people i saw once one lady going from bombay to uh, howda we are in the same train so somebody gave me packed food in bombay so that i can take it on the way then somebody came in nagpur and gave me another tiffin so my food was just arranged and there was one kerala old amma sitting she was not eating anything i said amma this is a food from good houses and nice food you take she said samiji i know the food is good you are eating it must be good but i have some rules what is that i do not eat when i travel now see automatically your madhya pradesh will be normal normally what happens when you are in the train after every 2 minute something or the other has to disappear continuously go on eating 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 therefore whenever i travel by train i pray to the lord oh lord let there be a gujarati or a rajasthani marwadi next to me in the train they have such lovely food you can really enjoy shaucham na apicha acharah achar is conduct in this world how do we conduct ourselves do we have a self control while conducting ourselves in this world do we shout at others do we insist on everything this is one most detrimental factor i will tell you try to observe if it is in you throw it away and the detrimental factor is insistence in sanskrit it is called as duragraha what is insistence i am a victim of this insistence every day because i have to take food from different houses every day so you go to take food and they will give something swami ji take some one no is enough for me no 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 you take one more chapati i think i is enough for me no 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 you have to take take one more chapati and when they compel you to eat they feel ha ah, now i am fulfilled now is suffering very good <laughs> and i have suffered a lot then i was observing because this observation alone has helped me to live happily in this world then i was observing when that person goes and gives to the next person you will take chapati no i don't like it i like puri i'll take later when you say you don't like they don't give you but when you say you don't want they will give you i said oh now i understood 
So anything they bring, and I have no place, so I say I don't like it. You don't like it? No, I don't like it. Okay. They will not say if you don't even then you take uh-huh. The Duragraha insistence is the typical lifestyle of the people living in the relative existence. So na shaucham na apicha ajaraha na satyam teshu vidyate. And their life manifestation of the truth. Because when you are indulgent, you are ready to compromise at every stage. Where from you get, what you get doesn't matter. I want means I want. Such people, this is regarding their understanding about the sadvastu. Further, asatyam apratishthamte jagat ahu anishwaram aparasparasambhutam kimanyakkam haitukam. Now they are understanding about the world. What is their understanding about the world? Te ahu, they say, Jagat asatyam apratishtham anishwaram, three things. Now here there is one very subtle thought Bhagavan Sri Krishna tells us. To tell that this world is an illusion and to live in this world as if the world is real is the hypocrisy of the indulgent people. See? Brahma Satyam Jagan Mithya Jeevo Brahma Ivana Parahasi Bhagavan Shankaracharya said the world is total illusion. Don't get too much involved in this world. Give all your money to me. See? Asatyam and Apratishtham because this world is not real. And then they will give such lovely arguments. There is one uh, Puran, probably Bhavishya Puran, somewhere I don't remember. There, a beautiful whole topic is developed, where it is so logically and beautifully proved that this world has nothing to do with God. Anishwaram, they don't believe the existence of the Ishwara, who is the controller of this world, according to them. The world is existing only in the law of karma. Such people, they only talk of karma, karma, karma. Nothing else. There is no element of devotion. There is no element of bhakti. There is no element of other thing. Except purification through karma, karma, karma. Because jagat ahuhu anishwaram. They don't accept the element of Ishwara, the controller of this world. And how this world is uh, existing, they say, aparas parasam bhutam kimanyat kama haitukam. This world is nothing but a continuity of the father producing the son, then the son becoming the father, and he producing the son, then he becoming the father, and he producing the son, and in this manner, the world is nothing but an expansion of procreation. This is their understanding. About this I will tell you, there is a very funny thought floating, many years, when these young boys and girls get married, and if they are in a foreign country, and particularly if they are softies, and if they have no cultural tie-up or some kind of spiritual support, their lifestyle is like this. Why to have children? Let us enjoy for five years. I am telling you because I came across many such couples. And there is one girl who got married and went to USA. So she asked me, Swamiji, please give me some guidance. I said, no guidance. Immediately, bacha is required. Produce a child. Nothing else. Then there was a fight between her and her husband. Because he has planned that we will have children, etc. only after five years. He said, nothing doing. My Swamiji told, right now means right now. So I became unnecessarily a villain in their life. For no reason of mine. 
and finally by god's grace they were blessed with a child when the child was born then that husband who was you know considering me as his enemy one day after 3 4 months of his child said swami ji i don't know how to thank you he told me this story i don't know how to thank you because now our life orientation has changed earlier it was tu tu mai mai why should i do you want to oh oh now our attention is on to the third common factor as a result individual fighting is reduced even if we fight we fight for the child not for you you and i i and then he told he said we have got many friends i mean here one couple is going to come and see you i spoke to them about you and they have this problem they are married for 5 years no children they have got to many doctors now they are running after babajis so they are coming to meet you <laughs> so that couple came and when they came to meet me namaskar chamatkar introduction was already given but i acted dumb or oh, it very nice where do you stay very very nice who are at home mother father how many parents you have got now <laughs> and what is your feel whether you are in the java or you are in the bullet or you are in the moped which is your feel this time and then the thing and then swami ji uh the purpose of our coming is this as a look here please remember don't have that wrong notion that only physical proximity between a man and woman is the cause of the birth of the child no there is some higher force which determines but we have that wrong notion if only that is the cause there would never have been any problem in this world there are many families who have this problem they have everything with them but there is nothing wrong with both of them but they just don't have children so where your rules regulations and everything goes if you remember i told you once the story of lakshman jula in badri in our rishikesh there was one old Mar- marwadi couple that man was 65 and the lady was 60 and from calcutta they came and they came for tirtha yatra and all that went to one baba ji and maharaj ji everything is there but we don't have children please bless us and all that maharaj ji said theek hai agle baar aate samay peda le aana that's it casually sitting they went back again their reproductive system was again as if reborn and then they had a child and then they came to that mahatma and when they came uh maharaj ji aapki kripa se sab kuch ho gaya by your blessing we are blessed with a child so please tell what can we give you the whose words can change the law of nature what can you give to him so he said i don't want anything but the people who are crossing ganges they are in trouble i always see so why don't you construct some bridge here that time he has constructed that rope way because it is nearest to the only lakshmana temple therefore it is called a lakshman jula and that mahatma is called as kali kamli wala baba so it is not that only by the desire to procreate that the world is expanding no the world is existing in the sankalpa of the ishwar or the lord but those who are indulgent they don't accept this they all the time have the arrogance of i can do things i have achieved through karma no up to a particular limit karma is an asset beyond that it is a liability like 
we come with our shoes up to a particular limit it is an asset but the moment you come inside it is liability you have to put it in plastic thali and put it on your lap like bhagavad gita <laughs> Where did you see that? <laughs> so also, but they have this funny notion that everything is happening only by kiman jat kama he to come. So according to them, the world is existing under the force of desire, kam. Please understand this point. The world is existing. because of the divine will and not because of our own desires if desire is the matter of which this world is made who will ever like to have bad desires see who will ever like to have any disease in himself but it happens therefore friends these arrogant materialist people they start thinking that everything is possible if you work under the force of desire such people come and condemn us from the you people should start you know changing something in bhagavad gita so what i should change one person gave me this advice you know karman neva adhikar aste ma phaleshu kadachana in a karma alone you have right not in the results of action because of this our country is not progressing i said because everybody in our country studies bhagavad gita see great achievements are possible not because of the force of desire but by the strength of inspiration if you see all the great masters what they have achieved in their lifetime is not because of the desire because of the inspiration but these people imagine it is the desire which is important and not inspiration kiman nat kam hai to kam and etam so they do not accept the higher authority then the third thing एकताम दृष्टि अवष्टभ्य नष्टात्मापबुद्ध प्रभवती उग्र कर्माण क्षयाय जगत अहिता वेन दे हेव डिस्कार्डेड द सत् फ्रॉम दे आर थिंकिंग दे हेव डिस्कार्डेड द एक्सिस्टेंस ऑफ हायर एथॉरिटी इन दिस वर्ल्ड फ्रॉम दे आर अप्रोच टू लाइफ नाउ द थर्ड वॉट इज दे आर थिंकिंग अबाउट द होल फेनामेना एकता दृष्टि अवस्तव्य नष्टात्मा अल्पबुद्धय दे हेव ऑलरेडी डिस्ट्रॉइड देम सेल्फ वॉट इज द सेल्फ डिस्ट्रक्शन नष्ट आत्मन वॉट इज द सेल्फ डिस्ट्रक्शन सेल्फ डिस्ट्रक्शन इज नॉट रेकग्नाइजिंग युअर ओन डिवाइन ब्यूटी एंड लिविंग एज द डिस्गस्टिंग बेगर इन दिस वर्ल्ड that is the self destruction it is something like suppose uh, i am the son of a king and go to church gate and stand there and ask for you know will you please give me uh, 10 rupees here near you know our bharati vidya bhavan about 2 3 years before when we were going one person came he chak chak looking very nice i thought you know he must be asking some direction okay excuse me will you please give me 10 rupees i said what what is it i have to eat something i have not eaten i said i don't have 10 rupees but i keep biscuits so i can give you some biscuits no 10 rupees is minimum what less can you give mm -hmm. if i claim to be the child of a king i cannot afford to be a beggar in the same manner discover the beauty the joy the fulfillment the happiness that you are when this is not done nashta atmana nashta atmana then alpa buddhaya 
Alpa Buddhaham is what? They are all the time getting lost in small little things. Now this is one very important topic which I have dealt with in Choti Choti Bhati. If you remember or read that book or the cassette, you will really enjoy. We all become miserable never because of the great things. We become miserable because of small little things. Now the best example I can think of is this. Is any one of us miserable because we cannot be or we are not the president of United States? We are not miserable because of this. We are miserable. Why? I didn't get tea in the morning today. <laughs> because now I have taken VRS. Nobody wants me in the house. And the whole day goes only on that load. What happened? Nothing is happening now. Nobody gives me even a cup of tea. That one small cup of tea makes your total life disturbed. See? Another example. How small things have destroyed our life. The best example I can give you is from Mahabharata. We all know the story. When Duryodhanadi, Duryodhan etc., visited Pandavas in the forest, they have constructed a magical palace where the floor was looking like a, you know, water and the water sheet was looking like the floor. And there Duryodhana comes and falls in the water because it looks like the floor. When he falls, Draupadi was watching from above. So she laughs. Now at that time, if Duryodhana has also laughed, there would have been no problem. Isn't it? When you learn to laugh on your own folly, you don't give chance for others to enjoy that. Because you are also enjoying you know how others can enjoy? If you suffer, then others enjoy. Don't give that chance to others. But he did not have that sense of wit and humor. And therefore, he, okay, I will show you. You are laughing at me, I will teach you. And the whole Mahabharata is born. See? Second thing. Everywhere, this second example from the same Mahabharata. During the childhood, Dronacharya and that um, Draupadi's father, they, Drupad, they were together in the school. And this Dronacharya being a Brahmin, a very daridri, poor fellow, so as a child his friend told, don't worry, when I become king, I will give half the kingdom. The childhood, how many things we have said? And when he is grown up and he doesn't have even milk to be given to his son, so his wife says, why don't you go and talk to your friend? He decided to give you half the kingdom. Go and take it. So he goes. Do you remember me? I was your classmate and you told me I will give you half the kingdom. Now give me. He said, eh, pagal hai kya? <laughs> How many things we have seen, said in our childhood? What is your problem? Milk, isn't it? I will fix half a liter of milk. Amul dairy directly disposes. Then he becomes an, I will show you. See, this is how we make a mess of our life. Therefore here, etam drishtim avashtabhyaha nashtatmanaha alpa buddhaya. They get involved and lost in small little things in life. Friends, we have to have the magnanimity to overlook. Suppose somebody has done something wrong, just don't look that shit. Even if you look as if you are not. Why make others feel miserable because they have done something wrong? Never allow that to happen. Very important quality. The moment, be very attentive. The moment anybody feels guilty because of your presence, you are wrong. Nobody should have a sense of guilt in our presence. 
how important it is. And this can happen only when we don't get involved in too many things. Just be indifferent, as if nothing is known to you. So, Kalpa Buddha Den Prabhavan ki Ugra Karmanaha. And such people who are indulgent, they want to do anything to fulfill their desires. Ugra Karmana. Ugra Karmana means those who can engage themselves into the acts of terrorism. By one way or the other, our way alone should be accepted. Ugra Karmana and Kshayaya Jagataha Ahitaha. And their whole life is designed for the destruction of this beautiful world. Jagataha Kshayaya for the destruction of the world. Now what is the destruction of the world? World can never be destroyed. Be very attentive about it. Don't worry. Uh, what will happen to the world? Now the you know, water resources are going down. That there is a, a hole in that ozone layer. And uh, the oh, ecological balance is going on. And uh, the many species are getting uh, extinct. Only human beings are there everywhere. So why not make the human beings extinct? So that in this and the world only the animals live. And therefore I decided I will spend my whole life in looking after the dogs and cats on the road. Such disgusting existence is called a chaya jagataha. Friends, please remember the beauty of this world is neither because of the animals, nor plants, nor rivers, nor mountains. The beauty of this world is because of the beautiful minds. That society where mind is pure, everything is beautiful. See, if you go to western countries, there you will be surprised to see Suppose there is a post, stop, on a cross. At night, two o'clock, there is nobody. The other day I was going somewhere, very late. There was hardly anybody or nobody even on the road. And then that cross came, small one, and stop four ways. That means all the four places there was stop. And my friend stopped the car. You have to come to a dead halt. And then again stop. Looking here and there. I said, hey, there is nobody where is stopping. He said, Swamiji, here we have to observe the rules. Now see, those people who honor and respect the traffic rules, their quality of mind is definitely different than our country. Isn't it? In our country, police will also break the rule and go. Rather, they alone will do this. Why? There is no cultural beauty. One Korean girl told me something very beautiful. She came with me to Simla for a camp. After two, three days, she became a little open. And she said, Swamiji, India and Indians... Korea and Koreans. The difference is individual Indians are rich. But India as a country is poor. Individual Koreans are poor. But Korea as a country is rich. See the difference. Now what is the reason? The reason is our social awareness level is zero. And such people, they are Prabhanti Ugrakarmanaha Kshayaya Jagataha Ahitaha. Because of our wrong lifestyle, the beauty of the society, the beauty of the uh, city is destroyed. We don't care. Because of extreme selfishness. So, they are thinking 
सदविचार गुड क्वालिटी थिंकिंग इज लिमिटेड ओनली टू देयर सेल्फिशनेस बट वी ऑल्सो हैव समथिंग हाइयर एज द सोशल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी इज नेवर अंडरस्टूड नौ सच पीपल काम आश्रित दुष्पूर दंभ मान मदान्विता मोहा गृहित असद्राहा प्रवर्तंते अशुचिव्रता सच पीपल काम आश्रित दुष्पूर व्हाट इज देयर सपोर्ट ऑफ लाइफ व्हाट इज दैट विच इज प्रोपेलिंग देम टू लिव इन दिस वर्ल्ड इज ओनली द काम द डिजायर the more desire i can fulfill in my life the more successful i think i am and therefore it is never anything like inspiration or good thing but only the fulfillment of the desire and what are this desire dushpuram there is none in this world till date whose all desires are ever fulfilled by fulfilling the desires there is only one option and that is rise above the desires rising above the desires is the only way to get out of the desires therefore fulfilling the desires to get rid of the desire is a wrong preposition that is why here the teacher says kama maashritya dushpuram we all live in this world with one or the other support some take the support of the desire some take the support of the money some take the support of the votes some take the support of the underworld some take the support of the overworld one way or the other we take the support and start living but we forget the real support of the world is something higher so kama maashritya dushpuram and therefore along with the desire fulfillment associated things are dambha man mad anvitaha dambha is associated with money then a man is associated with respect and disrespect and third the mad is associated with the success in life such people who are successful they have this mother mother means what this dhatu mother means uh, from the same dhatu is formed the word madi mother means uh, that intense desire because of which the man and the woman or the male and the female come together to respect you of anything that overpowering compulsion is called as mother so those who are constantly successful in this world they have that arrogance they are unable to understand anything kama maashrit dushpuram dambha man madanvitaha further mohad gruhitvat asad grahan and they are constantly functioning under the influence of this moha the delusion what is their delusion their delusion is that they are in this world to achieve and establish something unique which the world has never seen take for example how we uh grow into the wrong character slowly and steady my personal observation is like this it is possible for many of us to take failures in life in a dignified manner but to digest perpetual success is a really really a difficult job perpetual success inculcates terrible arrogance and vanity and such people isolate themselves from the whole world and then loneliness becomes the only way of life therefore moha grihitva asat grahan and they are holding only to the asat what is the asat all that is constantly changing is asat 
but they imagine that this world is going to remain with them all the time. There is a story about uh, Alexander the Great. He told his people, when I am dead, take out my hands out of the coffin and put a board there. Then I won the whole world, but when I am going, nothing goes with me. In the same manner. We imagine this world is meant only for us and everything is going to remain all the time for us. And as a result, we get too much attached. Mohat gruhitva atad grahan. And for that, pravartante ashuchivrataha. And therefore, ashuchivrataha. Ashuchivrataha means living life with any compromise so that whatever I want is gained. See? One has to have some kind of self-discipline. You must have seen, the other day it happened, somebody told me where it was probably uh, this side of Bombay only, maybe Worli or somewhere, we had food. And uh, the person told me, Swamiji, I understand you like pan as it is. Come, I'll give you a wonderful pan. I said, okay. Could you believe from Worli we have gone to Ville Parle station. <laughs> one hour or one hour twenty minutes. Terrible traffic jam and all that. So we started at about 9, 9.30. We reached there at about 10.30, quarter to 11. And then we have eaten that pan. And the tragedy doesn't end. I have to praise. It is good. How many times you can go on telling lies? Food about I had told once. Okay. And after that, then again going back to the other. See, Ashuchiv Vrataha. One is able to go to any extent for the fulfillment of the desires. So, Mohan Gurhitvan Asad Grahan Pravartanti Ashuchiv Vrataha. And such people, they carry the load of the whole world on their head. What is said? Chintam aparime yancha palalaya pralayantam upashritaha kamo upabhoga parama eta vadati nishchitaha. And then, if you tell them, hey, why are you so worried? Relax. Life is not only struggle, life is joy. You don't have to carry the world's own load on your head. Chintam aparime yancha. They are constantly worried about things up to the pralaya. I don't know what will happen to my children. I have done so much for them. I hope they will be able to protect the money. The more money you have, the more worried you are. This is what I have seen in USA. So many of them. They have got everything, but there is no life. Because there is only worry, worry. Family, what will happen to our children? I said, what happened to your father's children? <laughs> I spoke to him in Hindi. Tumhare baap ke bachche ka kya hua? You get the joy, you know, in Hindi, isn't it? Kuch ne is how nothing. The same thing is going to be repeated. <laughs> Did you listen to your dad when you came to this country? Swamiji, but you know, that time, he didn't understand. It was necessary. I said, the same dialogue your son tells about you. He spoke to me. <laughs> Swamiji, tell dad, he's so outdated. He just doesn't understand our point of view. He wants me to be like him. How can I be like him? He even doesn't know how to talk proper English. I feel sometimes so disgusted when he's around. Because he will talk anything, you know. Therefore, I never bring my friends at home. And I, and I never introduce him that he is my dad. I feel so ashamed. Swamiji, this is what my son talks about. I don't know what is going to happen. I said, everything has already happened. Only one thing is remaining. What is that? Shraddha. <laughs> 
चिंता अपरिमेय हाउ आर यू गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू टू लिव इन दिस वर्ल्ड ऑल द टाइम वरिंग अबाउट द वर्ल्ड प्लीज बी वेरी अटेंटिव वी हैव नो बिजनेस to be worried about anybody or anything in this world we are no business are we appointed as the general managers of this world mr uh, gopal das gupta is hereby appointed as the general manager of this world in the field of worry <laughs> keep on worrying worrying worry no you know such people who are worrying type they cannot tolerate somebody happy because they are worried and their worry is aparimeya there is no end to it constantly worrying about something or the other so chintam aparimeyancha then pralayantam upashritaha so their whole life is lived only for this because they have got lot of money collected which are way they have collected and with all that money you know what is to be done there is nothing like husband wife children grandchildren culture tradition there is nothing like and then i have made a will that all my money is given is inherited by uh, my dog and then there is a beautiful picture in that you know hospital like we have the picture of our guru or our mother or father or bhagwan krishna there they have the picture of dog ananda maharaj <laughs> because there is nothing in their life so chintam parimeyancha prayantam upasitah kamo ko bhog parama एतावत इति निश्चिता तो इन देयर लाइफ परम द सुप्रीम इज ओनली वन काम भोग उपरमा अदर देन एंजॉयमेंट एंड इंडल्जेंस देर इज नथिंग इन लाइफ द अदर डे यू मस्ट हैव रेड इन द न्यूज पेपर वन पर्सन यू ऑल नो द नेम देयर फॉर आई नॉट टेल द नेम सेलिब्रेटेड हिज एटीएथ बर्थडे by jumping from the aeroplane with the parachute now imagine why did you take the parachute <laughs> <laughs> it's no need he jump we are welcome but there also we want some thrill thrill see the whole life becomes so much extroverted till the last moment of life only this indulgence there is no higher possibility ever investigated thought of so kamo bhog parama etavat iti nischitah and thus this is the conclusion of their life this is what life means so this whole topic is talking about god's mistake what is god's mistake he has made such people as human being see fulfilling desires at a very low level of existence he is not seen even in the animals they are worse than the animals animals eat only when is required all they eat only that much as much is uh, enough for them when there is something wrong with their stomach they themselves observe fast we have to be told no don't take sugar you know you have got you know this diabetes it will kill you no but i am taking injection also no? <laughs> see but animals are well educated they understand if it is this not good not good don't take it the whole life is lived only for the fulfillment of desires and they live a the most disgusting life friends please remember all the best that can happen at the level of morphological evolution has happened in the human form now if there is higher evolution 
it cannot be at the body level. It has to be at a spiritual level. And it is only for this purpose that we are human beings in this world. See, please understand this is a very technical subject. One child asked me this question. That when the tiger goes and kills a cow, doesn't he have the sin? I said no. Animals are bhoga yoni. They are only indulging. That is their nature. Therefore they don't get sin. Human beings have the choice. And because they have the choice, they have the responsibility. Therefore sin and merit is only in the human form. And therefore we get out of the sins by meritorious life. And when we become pure, we are able to discover our own essential self. And that pure life is indicated in the first two, three verses. Abhayam Sattva Samshuddhi. Therefore the purpose of the human life is something higher and not merely living as an animal in this world. But this is Eta Avat Iti Nishchita. Ha. Such people have only one purpose and that is have more and more desires. Get more and more desires fulfilled and imagine that we have lived most successfully in this world. This is wrong. This is not the right way of living. Om Purnamadaha Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishate Om Shanti 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 Harihi Om Sri Guru Pyonamaha Harihi Om